speed was one platform which i chose uh, to start my journey and then i started reading with my books and everything uh, it got added like my concepts got way clearer um, definitely speed speed made a plan for me which was smarter with my time uh, constraint so i bring in all the wishes and greetings and behalf of all the faculty members and team of speed uh, to dr vincy uh, priya shah for scoring aml rank number 2 yes. and uh, in mch head and neck onco surgery uh, in in ess session may 2025 congratulations to you yes sir thank you sir thank you so much so great to have you in the session i thank you for your time that you have taken out to share your experience with us thank you very much uh, sir i started this journey probably a year back um, uh, last session i got a rank 3 but i wanted to join aims new delhi and because of the limited seat i decided to drop and prepare again so it's quite been a tough uh, decision making for me so um i was pretty persistent in what i wanted in my life and uh, it kept me going on and with the help of the materials i have in speed um teja sir added few chapters from bailey and there was a lot of specialized ini chapter added for me so a little bit change in strategy and plan i think uh, it made me go more with uh, more preparation like i i started to see where were my weak points i did all the recalls and specifically in aims exam there's something very important is the recalls like they have this uh, sort of trend and when you understand how their brain works your predictability of your questions increases so i think that has helped me a quite like i there's a point of time that i could predict what questions could come maybe the chapters of that so uh, with more previous year analysis and adding on to what materials i have and where was i lacking because it's a very high negative marking exam so in order to score you need to work on your negatives uh, so i i worked on my mistakes wherever i was lacking and which were like my weakest part so that was how my strategy went this time so you missed by a rank is it last year last time I last year. october is it yeah so so there are two seats in aims uh this time last time last time sir there was three uh, but i wanted delhi so <laughs> that is something so De delhi has how many uh this time it's having two wow you are in the second one <laughs> 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 you are you are very much there okay so so I me mean, you are working for one rank right I mean just one rank yeah. yeah yeah so how is that kind of a mindset that uh, is uh, place so the uh, last time i gave my fnb exam so i am currently in a fellowship course at tata calcutta so i was uh, comparing my options i mean if has to be an elevation in my career or i am i'm okay where i'm at so uh, in terms of head and neck oncology i felt peripheral aims are still on their early journey so moving from tata calcutta to a peripheral aims which is very on their beginner journey was would not have been a great plan for me it's a very personalized decision i'm sure a lot of people would not agree with me even though it's for an mch but i feel sometimes institute also matter um, your exposure with that institute also matter because these 2 to 3 years whichever you put in whichever institute it's going to be a lifelong learning like you would always go back to your learning of ms where you have been trained and same it would be for me as an mch so i was pretty much you might say selective i was pretty much clear in uh, that thought like when i got my rank 3 i was clear i was not going to get any so i started my preparation then it said i did not waste my time i had a very clear mindset ki okay this is not happening this time but i'll make it sure <laughs> probably next time <laughs> i took it like a fresh challenge because every time the competition differs every time new people come in every time you might be challenged by other things maybe there were personal challenges anything can happen so it was not something i was going forward look i'm i was ranked 3 and now, now i'm this i was never in that i was starting as a zero like in my mindset i was playing a a game which i knew but then i was thinking you okay, can need to see in a different prospect like i should not see that i was a rank holder then and now in that way so i and this time also patterns change like last time they asked general surgery a lot of question 20 questions were from general surgery uh, this time there was no question in general surgery so i was expecting a lot of people to qualify this time comparatively last time which which happened like my predictions were pretty good this time uh, last time four people qualified this time 13 people qualified so uh, competitions vary every exam has its own uh, fresh perspective which brings it to you 
so i i gave it like it's a fresh exam to me so it's a, i mean ug and pg you did well sir i did my ug from bhubaneswar and i did my pg from gmc chandigarh okay so working on very very kind of a thin line and yeah. uh, to get on to rank 1 and 2 that's what it suits actually suppose hypothetically i'm asking a question now it's happened actually suppose it not happened what would happen ah uh, sir i think uh, in the back of my mind i was not in my peace that i would maybe have tried again but then um, i would have um, maybe made my peace in my fellowship and worked in my paper writing and research work maybe took that route way um i don't know i, I uh, so neat uh, when i gave my neat exam um i secured a decent rank but was not a good enough to secure good institute uh, so i was probably in a i was in a more iniss sort of mind game because both paper have a different pair all together narrative so i knew that this is the paper i can crack like like uh-huh. you have an idea ki this so is a paper. you are you are literally paper. able to talk to the paper correct right? you know you know what's it all about i think this time i went aggressive also i i attempted 76 questions so i i wanted i, I did an aggressive game this time because i i was kind of knowing ki okay this is doable this is something i can do so it's it's a mind game between you and your examiner i think so i mean i know <laughs> it's a mind game it's a probably mind game like there were uh, one question of a ct scan a lot of markings were done like a plus a asterisk a star and in the question they asked the plus i'm pretty sure the bigger was the asterisk and I, when i saw the plus i was so sure ki people going to mark the asterisk and that is how the examiner want to confuse with you because the plus was a very small in one corner so that's how aims play with you like they play with your observant skill they play with your overall aptitude very very good very interesting <laughs> it's not yeah. it is very interesting and I, i have done my own study on this <laughs> yeah Yeah. See, um, what, what, see, my observation is this: is this is this is the kind of one thing which I could observe. There's the self-respect and the self-confidence that one person can have for herself or himself, and to say, okay, let me see what what is that all about. Let I mean, see. coming from non-medical family, your parents will always tell you, "Why are you doing so much? Like you just be happy where you are. You're not even happy, and you're just trying for something which may not happen for you." But then, in back of your mind, you know, okay, I if anybody can, it's something I can do it. And I think uh, this has been a very personal journey for me because I was I was a little bit on the stress of what if this does not happen this time? It will shatter my confidence again. uh but then you then you play with your odds then you think okay let me play with my odds because aims got delayed by a month and uh, there were a lot of dates changing going on with that so a lot of movements were happening there but it is how you play your game with for well, last last year last uh, exam season of uh, third rank is for aims pj was there right pj uh, pj was eligible oh sir pj was not there aims raipur was there aims rishi was periphery periphery peripheral aims sir yeah okay so what do you want to advise what is the message that you want to give to the students aspiring for i think for any exam if you're targeting fnb neat ini you have to understand exam pattern first because you cannot go with a blanket sort of movement that okay i know ent i can give all exam in a similar way no every exam will have a pattern um, i think recalls is a very must thing to do because if you analyze your recalls you're going to prepare in a smarter way i know hard work is important like i know i did my hard work but then you have to be strategical also because i was doing a fellowship i was working there i had long ot's and in between i was studying i was sleeping for hours like i have to cut my time somewhere there so there are certain sacrifices which like i have i have been sleeping for hours in the last 3 months like this is some habit i developed because at work it's very hard to manage things and then study but then if you have if you have thought to do it and you think you can do it then you have to put in the work for it because i think even intelligence is not going to play if you not put the work on so uh, that is one uh, thing like be honest with yourself okay if i am lacking i am lacking work on your things uh, work on your mistakes i think one of the biggest thing is ki we tend to read things which we are good at but that is not something which is going to make the difference in the exam like you need to see where you are really bad at like work on those chapters like if you're forgetting um, any classification like practice so much like me I, like i'm not good with memory i'm not a memory person like i know ki i will forget things so i have kept two three things for the last two three days like okay see i'm not good with memory so i can 
practice sometimes some things more that it will work reinforce myself um i used to listen to a lot of videos because my listening memory is better than my visual memory so know your power points know your weakness i think individualize your way like how we individualize treatment for the patient i think it's same thing for every student also because nobody is going to be a weak student or a strong student i think it's, it's something strategies you have to do it for yourself so see you uh, were looking into rank 1 and 2 and you conceived that in your mind that this is what we need to do and this is what we need to go on but it happens in reality also when you work towards it I mean, I mean, because you want to do what it happened. It didn't happen that way. It didn't just come that way. Someone didn't come and give you because you attended the exam. No, because you are, I mean, working towards it. And when you could work towards the kind of a, say, very very narrow margin, and still it happens. I mean, that's what I was trying to understand from you. Yes, as you said, a lot of competition is there. A lot of things changes. Law. I mean, exam. But that's true. That's true. In spite of it, it happens. I mean, I mean, there is something in that. I mean, I have seen in. Three or four examples this way. Three or four examples this way, where a person has to get only one rank number one for rheumatology, even peripheral aims actually for I mean DM rheumatology. He was hitting two, three, two, three, and even in NEET he got something, but and he finally went and hit on first, and he got it. See, I was I always used to we used to motivate students we do do what. how how they do that i mean how it is possible i mean example similar example is yours how do they kind of believe in getting it i mean even if you ask me to do as a faculty i would say doubt myself okay let me take something and just be safe then do it you what you guys do is you put yourself all out no 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 i don't do i'm going i'm just don't only do this i mean that's what is kind of i want to know what is happening inside I just want to know that sir at this point of age and life like you know what you don't want like mm -hmm. this is something you're not compromising upon like okay because when we were in early career of my life say mbbs and ms you had not much idea of how the career is going to work and how which direction you want to take in like whatever rank whichever where you getting you join it but with time you realize okay this is how i want to shape my career and this is the best way to do it and something about aina is i feel is very addictive in that way like they will give you the taste of something and but they will not give you like entire taste of it so you just have this thing in your mind like oh god i need it so badly <laughs> it's like something like that and then i i think uh, because you don't need to focus on the larger like i focused on today's thing like i have planned my days like okay today i need to complete this i'm going to focus on this because if i focus of what if i'm going to fail i was sure of that because the chance of getting a rank again is a very hard thing and the anxiety kills you uh, the anxiousness kills you the, it, it 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 destroys your time it destroys your mindset and you had bad days sometimes you have bigger rotis at work and then you're tired that days like i realized that i can't study in the night like this something i realized because you're back at ot at 9 pm so i sleep at 10 and i woke up at 3 So when I woke up at three, I utilized my four hours in the morning so that I can put four hours in the morning. Like understand where your mind. If I sat in the night four hours, that would be not actually four hour hour, but one hour of study because my mind will be tired going here and there. So you, I mean, how to maximize your time was something. And every day target you reach because you can't think like one month ahead. Okay, I need to complete everything right now. Uh, doctor, I'm, I'm really telling you, I'm not able to understand what you're saying. But <laughs> <laughs> see, what I want to do is, I mean, I want to uh, conclude this interview right now because I'll tell you why. Uh, I want to do an interview with you in detail, not this for 15 minutes, five minutes. I mean, probably in our time on a detailed interview. I I have a lot of doubts actually. I have a lot of things to ask you, and whenever your time permits, I will ask uh, my team to get in touch with you, and okay. also they will fix my time and your time. Not yes, in these two days. After this. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I can, it can be confusing because even when the result came yesterday, I was in such a disbelief. Like I told people from my family to cross check. Yeah, yeah. Like, is it <laughs> that or was... not? Like, am I hallucinating? Like, is it happening for me or not? Uh, I'm still uh, under a lot of disbelief and overwhelmed by it. No, no. So, I I understand the entire process, but I I just need to understand from you. You think about something and you make that into a reality. So how that happens? That pro there is a process in that. I mean, probably when I talk to you for a little longer, yeah. uh, then I will be able to understand. Once I understand that, 
and the people are watching the video can also understand i think so 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 i mean i think the the lot of people today i mean a lot of students have been know, for the interview so what i'm going to do is yeah. um, we will we will have one more day fixed with you so that i want to take a detailed interview with you on that so okay. before we could conclude i want i want you to uh, i mean take this platform an opportunity to thank whom all you want to thank they help you from day one till date you believe that they have been with you to be in your career i think the first person uh, first people i want to thank is my parents um they have been very supportive in terms of uh, giving me monetary support emotional support listening to my everyday trauma questions and also my parents have been very supportive in terms of the fact that i want to learn more study more give my time in this career uh, coming from non medical background <laughs> uh secondly i want to thank to my husband um he is my best friend and partner in crime since last 10 years and we have married since last 3 years he is an amsonian one thing i always want to be uh, seeing him uh so he has motivated me a lot like he made me believe in myself uh, so that credit goes to him um third i want to thank god because if it is not destiny it's for not going to happen for sure and i want to thank the entire team of speed specifically teja sir he, one day he called me and he told me i don't understand your obsession with the sign i said i said <laughs> then i don't understand of like then after the exam he uh, we had a conversation about what the questions asked and all and he was pretty sure that i'll get through it so uh, i think head and neck when i get got into studying head and neck i pioneered with speed only because i had no idea where to start with like i can't start with devita and i can't start with harrison and other bigger books so speed was one platform which i chose uh, to start my journey and then i started reading with my books and everything uh, it got added like my concepts got way clearer um, definitely speed speed made a plan for me which was smarter with my time uh, constraint was something which was well formed and with with the last year um, it got way better because there were personalized i night classes going on uh, there was high yield going on there was a revision going on there was a recall session going on then for interview also there were things to uh, think so i mean if you're on a structured plan you can analyze and get into a better strategy so uh, definitely teja sir and speed team for sure i all the gts i have saw like you understand there's there's this, this is a good platform for this and you should utilize it for yourself well so, so these are the tools that we keep so you yes. need to do this do this do this do this do this finish all this yeah. and then you need to understand like last 10 days you need to need high yield last 5 days you need to read this like that's how it has been structured like you can't read high yield on first day you will not understand it so you need to read the head and neck part first and then you have to add the things like then last will be the revision classes and uh, i mean for stats um, i asked teja sir what to read then he told me a book i completed that book in the last month i'm like no i'm going to complete i'm not taking any chances this time i i bought the book i completed it so teja sir has always been in contact with me so um, he was one message away so unfortunately i could not buy the buy his book uh, in the last <laughs> moment i was like he, i i should not put on a new thing in the last moment uh, but i'm definitely going to do for now uh, so that was one thing i missed uh, a lot of people who have bought his book has definitely given great reviews and they told me ki why are you not reading because i was like on the last like it came like last before i night 10 20 days prior so that was one thing i missed but if someone can get hold of it that's a great book to go forward with because it's a very aims based sort of which i felt was it but everybody is free to have their own opinion like <laughs> okay doctor i mean uh, dr teja will see this video he'll be very happy looking yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> so once again we wish you all the very best and all the success for a great career ahead in yes, mch hernanekong best wishes yes. to you thank you thank sir you. thank you sir